families, we at Cristiano's World would like to wish you a beautiful, knowledgeable, and inspiring Black History Month. This Black History Month, we have chosen to share snippets from Young, Gifted, and Black by Jamia Wilson. Snuggle up and let's celebrate Black excellence. Happy Black History, everyone! Hey kids, stop what you're doing and hit that subscribe button. Maurice Ashley. He was born March 6, 1966, in St. Andrew, Jamaica. Maurice Ashley made history as the first African American chess grandmaster in the world. He is also an author, commentator, and puzzle inventor. As a child, Maurice Ashley learned about chess from watching his brother and his friends play in and around the city of Kingston, Jamaica. Age 12, he left his birthplace to move to New York City. Throughout high school, he developed his skill and focus in Brooklyn's parks and chess clubs. Maurice continued to play in chess tournaments, winning game after game. He became the first African-American international grandmaster, which is the highest title that can be awarded in chess. Today, the chess grandmaster and puzzle inventor is a commentator for the world's most well-known chess tournaments. He is also a coach to kids in Harlem, encouraging and promoting the game among young people there. Connecting his rise from the inner city streets to the U.S. Chess Hall of Fame, he declared, all those roses growing from concrete just want a chance to live their passion and be great. Brian Lara, he was born May 2nd in 1969 and he was born in Santa Cruz, Trinidad and Tobago. World-renowned cricketer and record breaker, Brian Lara is widely regarded as one of the greatest batsmen of all time. The 10th of 11 children, Brian began playing cricket at the Harvard Coaching Clinic when he was six years old. His early education on correct batting technique helped him make Trinidad's under 16 team. By the time Brian was 20, he became Trinidad and Tobago's youngest captain. Brian made headlines for breaking two cricket batting records in 1994 and for becoming the sport's most prolific scorer in 2005. He said, like most sportsmen, I am very nervous before I go on to bat. If someone is not nervous, I am not sure what sport they are involved in. Today, the left-handed match winner holds the record for the highest individual score in first-class cricket. Now a sports and tourism ambassador, Brian has traded his bat for a golf club. He participates in celebrity golf tournaments worldwide. Thank you so much for reading with us today and we're 